So indeed, the fear of hunger is the beginning of wisdom in the lockdown house. Guys, I am so impressed with these housemates. I mean, since yesterday that they've been given some task in the house. Yesterday was the Flutterwave task. Today was the Dulux design challenge. These housemates are bringing in their inner professional skills to the fore and they are doing really really amazing at it i'm going to spill all the details of what i'm on about but before i continue guys let me officially welcome you to my youtube channel my name is glory elijah and you are welcome to frankly speaking with glory um if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please pause this video and click on the red subscribe button to become a part of the family and um if you always want to receive a lot of my videos guys please um click on the white bell button right beside the red subscribe button and you will always be the first to get a lot of my videos join the notification gang gang you know um so that's it guys let's jump into the details of what happened in biggie's house this morning this afternoon and this evening basically the highlight of today so as a result of the fact that these housemates they enjoy sleeping really really late they woke up this morning feeling very very tired and exhausted and someone like bright hole caught um not a strike but he caught a fine for um house rules infringement yeah the rest of the housemates were in the arena they were having their um, morning and um, workout session and Brito was still sleeping i said serves him right because that guy can talk for africa he was saying last night to people like tochi and um i think tricky t no not tricky t but he was saying to tochi last night that um this is the time when those people that watch big brother ninja show from the abroad are awake so this is the time to give them content i'm like hey so this is why you stay awake abby this is why you don't sleep okay we don't know your secret you know um so he cuts off fine and that was that and then there was also an emotional session between dorothy and lecon don't don't do that because it's risky because you still be here and then you tell her you don't talk to her again like for a while you're pushing out somebody else and then what if she gets very comfortable with the person? At least you'll be happy now. Shh, <laughs> will you be happy? That's yeah, but I don't know. Nah, no, 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 no. So guys i'm tired of lecon telling every tom dick and harry in the house about erica not um recruiting his love gestures because it's getting really really tiring so once again he was pouring out his heart to dorothy he was telling dorothy that oh he's sad um erica friend zoned him blah 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 he was just complaining literally and he was saying the same thing he was saying to tricky t and prince yesterday that he found it really really offensive that whenever he tries having a conversation with erica um kid wire chooses that moment to come and hold her around the waist kiss her on the neck and do whatever he wants to do so dorothy asked him have you told erica about it and he said yes that erica said she was going to talk to um kid wire about it but they're still doing it and that was why he told her that he was going to give her space so dorothy gave her the most useful advice ever he told her that listen if you are looking for how to get this girl to get interested in you now is not the time for you to back out of the relationship now is not the time for you to give her the space that you are claiming you want to give to her otherwise if you give her that space it's going to create a void and someone else like Kigwaya is going to fill in the void at the end of the day you will end up getting really really hurt so don't get yourself heft up instead be that friend that she needs you're going to have to be a friend be there for her have her back and before you know it she is going to start liking you and having interest in you and then dorothy also advised lecon that listen friendship lasts way 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 longer than you know what Kidwire and Erica has because Erica has complained several times that she is not mentally attracted to Kidwire, you know, but she is mentally attracted to you. So according to Dorothy, if you told that line of being a friend, being there for her, and having her back, then some way, somehow, she is going to get interested in him. And then, guys, Dorothy also made the revelation. She said, "Look at her own predicament that she likes someone." so she knows that the whole situation is complicated so what she's doing is she's being friends with that person hoping that one day it's going to lead to what she actually wants and guys we all know what erica is talking and what um, dorothy is talking about she's actually referring to ozo and i'm like wow so for reals dorothy actually is in love with ozo and you know when the other housemate always ask her dorothy are you in love with ozo she was like no i am not you know she's always 
very defensive and adamant that she's not you know so today when she was having that one-on-one -on -one heart to heart session with um Lekon, and she made that revelation i felt wow that this girl you're actually strong -o. it's not every girl that actually likes a guy that will be willing to play the friend zone friend part in the guy's life and watch the guy chase after another interest you know so i just felt sorry for these people today but i'm like anyways um they'll be fine everybody will be all right you know and after that guys biggie gave the housemates the dulux design challenge now this challenge came with a couple of rules which i'm going to be explaining to you guys shortly now this particular challenge required the housemates to divide themselves into two groups that's team a and team b team a is called lunar falls while team b is called cornish dawn now the housemates were given three hours you know to work with a mood board and two hours to paint and fix their space they were also to make a final presentation afterwards the presentation actually just ended and then the reward was going to be an announced later so guys today was a very very busy day for the housemates they had their dulux uniforms you know painting gears and everything and it was a lot of brainstorming session for all of them because every individual housemate brought their skills to the fore every single person you know brought what they knew about style lifestyle design paintings art creativity everything all to the fore and then guys team lunafall comprised of Ozo, eric wathoni prince praise lecon tolani badge new and b while team cornish dawn that's team b consists of kid wire um dorothy tochi nengi Kaisha, Lucy, Erica, Right O, and Tricky T. You know, and so they had a lot of time to come up with their own creative concepts. And guys, I was really, really impressed when the housemates went to the arena for their presentation. And guys, guess what? I don't know how they did it, but they brought these massive walls that looked like it was actually a real house. And then there were lots and lots of buckets of Dulux paints. And aside that, there were lots of interiors home furnishings decorative pieces here and there you know so they were supposed to actually paint those boards and then use those pieces interior pieces to decorate this, that space to look like a living room and in order to do this they were actually given a brief so a brief um is like something that a client wants right and then the client describes who she is because that was what the brief was so the client described who she is you know what she liked her preference types of colors that she likes and all of that you know and that was the kind of brief that each group or each team was given was presented with and then guys um finally 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 they did all their presentation and guys i must say this it was totally beautiful i was just simply impressed it was beautiful i would go for white anytime any day but i never knew that i could fall in love with yellow because when i saw team b's um decoration and their painting on that wall guys it gave me second thoughts because my favorite color is actually uh, mustard yellow and white you know so when i saw the white i thought i fell in love then i saw the light yellow i'm like okay i'm sold out to this one completely completely you know and so guys it was time for biggie to score the housemates and in scoring the housemates he scored the housemates based on three criteria now he scored them based on interpretation of the client's brief um on creativity color coordination and attention to details all in one and also on quality of presentation now in terms of interpretation of client's brief team a that's lunar falls scored 15 over 20 while team b cornish dawn scored 18 over 20. in terms of creativity color coordination and attention to details team a scored 50 over 60 while team b scored 55 over 60. now in terms of um quality of presentation guys i don't know but there's something about the way kid wire presents well, 3 35 in the afternoon west african time please welcome to cornish down now my client very interesting lady. She goes by the name Florence. Some people call her Flora. Extremely, extremely hardworking. I personally don't read books, but as you can see, she's got an array book collection here. Flora, my Flora. If I can sum her up in one word, young, 
professional, elegant, bold, classy. My bad, that's like six words, but she's all of that. He did the same thing yesterday during their Flutter Wave presentation. And I'm like, okay, this guy is not so bad. He's not so bad. Aside the fact that he's got an accent, he's got a British accent, aside the fact that he's very, very expressive, he knows how to speak good English, you know. Guy, this guy is very, very poised. I love the way he really, really presented. He came out really professional. He came out unhurried. He came out like, you know, a brand that wants to sell their business, their product to a client. And it sounded very, very convincing. And it almost came off as, oh yes, I am too confident in my product as a brand owner, but I am not gonna shove it down your throat anyways. I'm gonna make it, you know, very, very stylish. Like I'm just gonna do like subtle or subliminal marketing for you so that you can actually patronize me. You know, I just feel like that was what Kid Wire did all in one. And I feel like it was actually a good choice that his teammates chose him to do the presentation it was very very stylish and it was very very believable overall so in terms of quality of presentation Ozor did the presentation for team A not like Ozor did not do well he did great but I believed team um, team B's presentation more because of the way Kidwire sold it and so team A scored 18 over 20 while team B scored 16 over 20 so Biggie addressed them and told them that overall even though he does not I don't understand why Biggie doesn't like Kidwire's presentation but it's all good you know so he said that overall even if there were disparities in terms of scores and marks um um, team A got 83 points overall while team B got 89 points overall so at the end of the day guys team B won they won and the reward for them is Dulux paints and the sum of 2 million naira guys the excitement of this housemates knew no bounds because uh, I mean this is the beginning of them winning some prizes in the house so the good thing about winning all these prizes is if any housemate gets to be evicted and you were lucky to fall into a team that actually wants some money whilst in the house then at least you know that even though you don't win the winning prize from the show itself or you are going to get at least some consolation prizes so i'm super happy for all of them i'm super excited for all of them um that's it guys that's all for this particular episode of francis speaking with glory this video i did not intend for it to be very very lengthy although there's something i would like to discuss with you guys tomorrow morning so you need to definitely tune into my channel tomorrow morning because hmm, this one is worth listening to as usual. That said, guys, have an amazing night's rest. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.